a bit of breaking news, even though this happened a while ago, it's beginning to be delineated now and broken down. Derek Chauvin, who was a 19, or is a 19 year veteran of the Minneapolis Police Department, just fired because he murdered George Floyd in viral footage by kneeling on his neck for nine minutes until he killed him. He was a police officer for a long time, was a police officer under Amy Klobuchar's watch when she was the top prosecutor in that county. And of course, this was not the first police brutality incident that he has been involved in. In fact, there were multiple incidents under Amy Klobuchar's watch and she declined to prosecute. So there goes her vice presidential aspirations. This story is so high profile and Biden needs to be in the black community's good graces and also just do the right thing by them since they were a huge part of why he's actually the nominee. Uh, I think she's done. I think she's absolutely done when it comes to the beep stakes. From The Guardian, great reporting. Chauvin, who joined the force in 2001, had already been involved in several incidents, according to a database by Minneapolis's communities against United or United Against Police Brutality. Chauvin was one of five officers who were placed on leave after they shot and wounded an indigenous man in 2001, the Daily Beast reported. Later that year, officers had been responding to a domestic violence call and Chauvin claimed that the man had reached for his gun. The man was shot, not by Chauvin, Chauvin, but by a different officer and wounded. Authorities later determined that the officer had, officers had acted appropriately. Sure. In 2006, Chauvin was one of several officers involved in the shooting death of a man who stabbed others before turning on the police. The second man who uh, was seen watching, the second police officer was also involved in another police brutality incident, but that was after Klobuchar's time. Klobuchar specifically let Chauvin off the hook. Combined, the men have been subject of more than a dozen civil civilian complaints for which Chauvin has placed uh, has faced three verbal reprimands. The database confirmed that internal reviews of Chauvin and Thau, the other officer, uh, their use of force by the Minneapolis Police Department resulted in no disciplinary action each time. So imagine if you had multiple incidents at your job where you didn't follow the rules, were caught, and no consequences came of it. Specifically, no legal consequences, even when it involved death, brutality. The Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar a former Democratic presidential candidate, has faced backlash for what critics have called a tame demand for a complete and thorough outside investigation and is now being questioned on her record. Between 1999 and 2007, Klobuchar, the state's then top prosecutor, declined to press charges against more than a dozen officers accused of killing civilians, including Chauvin. She has faced criticism for many other racist decisions, including standing by the prosecution and conviction of a man who even the family of the girl who was murdered say he didn't do it. There's all this evidence his uh, co-defendant admitted that he did it and that the other man, who I'm sorry his name is escaping me now, wasn't even there. Klobuchar wouldn't even let him go to his mother's funeral and wouldn't let him out of prison and routinely tried to block that case from being brought up again, even though there was clear evidence that he didn't do anything. I wonder why she had no black support in the primary. And I wonder why Biden would be insane to pick her. This is the end of her career beyond being a senator, I would say, on the national stage. Her politics are extremely old school. I think Biden is the last gasp, but who knows at this point? I think the desire to return to normalcy um, after Trump is very strong within the Democratic electorate, stronger than I even anticipated, and that's why Biden is the nominee among many other things, but I don't think that she represents that. She just rep represents old school centrist politics, and now she personifies old school Democratic centrist racism because this is inexcusable and this is going to go down as a blotch on her record for the rest of her career.